But yeah. to the fight specifically, <laughs> yeah. Shakur Stevenson gets a shutout uh, and a knockdown. So it was really that's really a shutout. Yeah. Um, the criticism is that it that it was boring. Yeah. Where are you bored? Uh. Yeah. Um, bored is harsh. Is it? Yeah. Bored, bored, <laughs> bored is harsh. I don't. Yeah. I wasn't like. I wasn't like. Yeah, let's fight. Like it, it. I think I was similar to like. Andre Ward was like, could he turn the tempo up and get this guy out of there? Yeah, I don't think any of us disagree with that. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm also not in there risking. And the guy of you know powerful right hand by all accounts, and and Shakur kind of said that he was like he hit me with some shots, and like I didn't want to get hit with those shots. Mm-hmm. And that's boxing. But oh. um, he also mentioned he didn't really feel great last night, and I don't think he was thrilled with his performance. But mm-hmm. no, I. Th- I think almost to an extent, and, and to go to Devin Haney, I think they both get kind of a similar, they're both very responsible defensive fighters. Mm-hmm. And that was a criticism of Floyd. That's mm-hmm. a criticism of, of both of those two young guys. Mm-hmm. And they're 22 and 23, I think. Mm-hmm. So it is what it is. Mm-hmm. I, anytime you get a shutout. Yeah. I mean, I mean, and and then <laughs> like, it's tough to be like uh, we, we kind of do that with Caleb Plant. We're like, yeah, yeah, we're, like, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. nitpicking, but you didn't lose a round. Yeah, his dance partner didn't help it. Very that guy true. wasn't. My man was cocked with the right, right all in, night, all night. Yeah. yeah, I mean that was about it. But uh, yeah, he was long too. Yeah, yeah. long guy. Uh, about halfway through the fight, I start thinking in my head, even talking to Carson. I'm like, all right, now I want to see how him and Devin will. Line up. I'm like, this is gonna be a him and Devin fight. Real tactical, like yeah. Carson said. Yeah. I don't. It won't be a lot of action. It's not gonna be a shootout. They're gonna be but, like, oh, you throw, I'm gonna throw. Yeah, you throw, yeah. I'm gonna throw. Yeah. I can see that. That, that it'll be a good fight. I just don't see a lot of lot. That's why I started looking mm-hmm. at because it, it literally took me out of the fight. I'm thinking, how will he fight Devin? And I like, I like the the matchup that is likely coming up. It's him versus Jamel Herring. Mm-hmm. I really like that. Not mm-hmm. because I just think it's a good matchup. Mm-hmm. Jamel Herring, good guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think Jamel Herring can test Shakur where he can use that defense and then capitalize yeah. with counters and, yeah. and stuff to that effect. This guy yesterday, like you said, his dance partner, yeah. he didn't do him any favors. That's, like, that, what are you really going to do at that point? <laughs> what I said to you yesterday is uh, Shakur Stevenson seems to be the kind of fighter that will I, – I like – the way this sounds, Dic- he'll he'll allow you to dictate the pace, and then he will control the pace. And what I mean by that is, with him being as defensive as as defensive responsible as he is, yet so sharp with counter attacking and his, and his counter punching ability, he'll let a guy come forward as much as he's gonna come forward, throw as many punches as he wants to throw, and then once he figures out, okay, that's what you want to do. Only need to take that half step back. Only need to slide to the side one time. Only need to dip one, two, make you miss twice because I know what your what your your pace is. Yeah. Your pace is two punches here, and now I'm going to come back. And the problem that we had yesterday was that his his dance partner was not going to give him any more than 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 what he gave him, which was basically standing in front of him yeah. and really not attacking. And Shakur, I don't think even needed to use like his defensive repertoire. Like he didn't really even need to use a lot of that. Yeah. Like it was like very simple yeah, movements. He landed a couple times and dropped him twice. I mean yeah. one and the guy had like what nine punches landed yeah. through like one round he had three cr- like yeah. crate like nine rounds in. Yeah. Like and so I mean it's tough. Um as a fan, it you have to take it both ways with, do you want to see an exciting fight? Of course. Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of people like your fights. They're mm-hmm. like, John Porter, whether he wins or loses, I know I'm going to get action. You're going to get your money's worth. You're going to get your money's worth. But also, as a boxing fan, specifically in like somebody that appreciates the tactical matchup, mm-hmm. it's tough to criticize that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I think it's unfair criticism a lot of times of Devin Haney, of Shakur, mm-hmm. of Floyd when it was happening. Mm-hmm. And so... I think that Shakur is... Um Right behind Floyd is like one of the most pure boxers out there. I, yeah. Well, we can't say Floyd now because Floyd's unofficially retired. Yeah. And some, yeah. We, some, we know boxing yeah. fans. We know. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I think I just think that Shakur is like the next like pure boxer. Yeah. That has that that same type of eye. That even while I'm releasing, I know what you're gonna do. Even while I'm releasing, I see when you're your coming. Defensive move. Yeah. Right. And yeah. he's like, he's just. He's so far ahead De- of everybody. Yeah, him. I feel like Devin's up there too. Because Devin's right Devin was, when that dude threw something, he was already thinking. Devin's defense, like both of those guys, yeah. they don't play. Defensively, 
da 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 da. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. We they may they may uh uh not be as exciting offensively, but defensively they're just not. They're two guys that are the really game is to get, get hit. the hit, not get hit. Yeah. yeah, and even if you, I mean, if you look, so you even kind of to to go to Lenares, but even as these guys continue, like I said, they're twenty two and twenty three, which is crazy. Yeah, they're already where they're at. Yeah, but that's nuts, man. When they start to get tested more. I think their defensive work will be more appreciated mm-hmm. because there's going to be a guy, I can't think of anybody offhand, but like, um, we'll say Tiafimo. Like if Devin fights Tiafimo and he is able to do that defensive, we're like, damn, you know, Tiafimo yeah, yeah, is yeah. really good offensively. Oh, so right. the fact that he's able to avoid that, right. um, Shakur Stevens, if he just is able to make Jamal Herring miss, like, like right. oh man, you know, right. he's doing that against a really talented offensive right. fighter. Right. So I think it'll, it'll, as their level continues to increase, it will the respect for like Floyd, if you look back, people or Pernell Whitaker, the highlights of Pernell Whitaker are defensive. Yeah, defensive highlights, <laughs> and so, yeah. like, if you make somebody look bad, we laughed at, at Caleb Plant when he did the look off into the thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like when you're making fighters miss mm-hmm. at the high level, mm-hmm. it's cool. It's good. Yeah. It's fun to watch. Yeah. But even going back to to Devin Haney real yeah. quick, I just thought that him getting hit by Lenares and and going through those last two rounds the yeah. way that he did was like right on time for him because. It's better for him to go through that now with a guy who isn't going to do what I wanted him to do. <laughs> do what I wanted him to do. Yeah. But better, better go through that now yeah. and learn from it. And now you know how to react how how your body's gonna react. Yeah. You know how to react. Maybe even do some some different things in training so that you'll be more prepared yeah. to take that kind of shot. But moving forward, Hopefully you don't take that kind of shot. Well, but, yeah. but again, yeah, moving forward, so, yeah. that just kind of that punch came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like I was like, did he, did he just get hit? It came yeah. out of nowhere. But he'll be much more prepared for it now, yeah. you know. So, um, am I saying that Shakur has to go through that too? No, I'm not. No, every fighter's different. Yeah, and, I think that, and, and I he might. But and, yeah, honestly, he no, might. <laughs> every fighter's gonna get hit with a big shot yeah. and get rocked. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather got hit. Madonna hit him with something. He was going into the corner. Shane Mosley. almost knocked its head off. <laughs> yeah. Zab Judah, I think, caught him. Yeah, caught him. He had been caught a few times. Yeah. So yeah. It, he's going to get hit. Yeah. yeah both if he makes guys. it with no hits, big hits. Greatest yeah. fighter of yeah. all time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. man. Interesting. If you make it a whole career without getting rocked. Yeah, you're the greatest fighter ever. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy what you saw because I know you did. What you need to do now, hit that subscribe button, hit the like. Hit that notification button. Check us out every week, every Tuesday. Something new for you right here on the Port Away Podcast.